jumping right into things, of course, we're going to start off by priming our face. And I'm going to be using the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. And I absolutely love this primer because it makes my skin super smooth and it makes my foundation last all day long, girl. jumping right into foundation we're going to be using two today I'm going to be using my Maybelline Super Stay and also the Fit Me and I mix these two because I love the color payoff and it gives me full coverage <laughs> going to take this foundation brush and I'm going to use this to blend out all of my foundation all over and then I will go back in with the sponge I'm just going in with my Maybelline sponge just to blend out any excess foundation and make sure everything is seamless and smooth. Going in now with my Makeup Revolution contour stick in the shade F16. Using this just to um, contour of course and chisel out my fat chubby cheeks and everywhere else. And now I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline um, age Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm just going to highlight my face. just using my elf small stippling brush just to blend out the concealer not concealer the uh, contour shade <laughs> Now I'm just going in with my Maybelline sponge just to blend out my concealer and highlighted areas. So now I'm just going to take my Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder just to set my highlight and bake a little bit.
just going to take this like pointed fluffy brush and I'm going to use that to sweep away all the excess powder. I'm going to go in now with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder to set the rest of my face. And I absolutely love this powder because it leaves my skin looking super smooth and it's not too cakey. Next, I'm going to be going in with one of my favorite contour palettes. It's the Morphe. I think it's the HL palette. But anyways, I'm just going to be using two of the contour shades. They are called what? blogger and fabulous using that to bronze up my face and then also chisel out those chubby cheeks <music> Going in now with my Sigma blush in the shade Corte Rosa. We're going to use this to add a little bit of color and peachy tone to my cheeks. <laughs> So now one of my favorite part begins. I get to highlight this face. I'm going to be using the MAC and Mariah Carey highlight. It's in the shade My Mimi. And I love this one because it's very subtle. And then I usually kind of top it over with a little bit of a light one. But I just love the glow that it gives me. So now I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm using the MAC and Cork or the MAC lip liner in the shade Cork to line my lips. I love this one because it's subtle, it's not as dark, and it looks very natural to me. So moving on to the eyes, we're going to be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. And I love this one because it has a lot of neutral and soft tones in it. And it just can be perfect for any day or everyday type of makeup look. And the first shade that I'm going in with is the shade Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to use that as my first transition shade. I absolutely love it because it goes very good with my skin tone and it's not too, like, too dark or too harsh. So now I'm going to go in with my Sephora number 38 featherweight crease brush and I'm going to be using the shade Sienna and I'm going to take that to use as my second transition shade and kind of add a little bit of depth and dimension to the look. <music> So 
So now I'm going to go in with this pretty golden shade. It's called bronze. And I'm going to use that to place on my lid. And first I'm going to use my finger just because I like the color payoff and it seems very pigmented when I use my finger. And then I will go back in with a like a flat shader brush just to kind of blend out the lines and kind of make it a little bit more precise. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner just to line my eyes and create a wing. So moving on to lashes just to add a little bit of drama to this look and I'm using my mink lashes from Glam Fix Cosmetics. I really love these lashes. I've used them at least about five or six times and they are still holding on. So if you guys want to purchase definitely look into those and you can also use my coupon code. I'll link everything down below. Now just going back in with that sienna shade and I'm going to take my small Juvia's Place brush just to kind of smoke out my bottom lash line and add a little bit more of definition or dimension to my eyes. <laughs> Now I'm just going to take my Lorac Unzip Palette and I'm going to be using this pretty golden shade just to pop into my inner tear ducts and add a little bit of light to my eyes. <music> So to lock and set everything into place, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. And as you can see, I'm just going to drown myself. Okay, so moving on to my second highlight. I'm going to be using my MAC uh, Whisper of Guilt highlight. And I'm going to use my Milani All Over Blending Brush just to place that on the tops of my cheeks. And really make my highlight stand out. And I absolutely love this. You guys know I'm always using this in my tutorials. But yes, this highlight is so bomb. So we're wrapping things up, but I just wanted to place a little mascara on my bottom lash line. And I'm using my Maybelline and Gigi Hadid mascara. I love this. You guys know I have been using this a lot lately. But yes, it's really jet black and it's so pigmented. <music> That completes today's makeup look. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Send me your location Let's focus on communicating Cause I just need the time and place to come through